Okay, welcome back to New Ranch Cooking. Today we're going to make three pepper soup. Uh, I discovered this soup when I was working for uh, Chef Stephen Piles at Star Canyon Restaurant in Dallas, Texas. I love this soup. Uh, but need to give him full credit for it, but it's really fun. And the funnest thing about it is actually the presentation. Uh, first of all, we need to roast off all of our peppers. Best way to do this is over a gas stove. So we're going to get our burners going. You can also do this over a grill outside. Works really, really well. You just simply are going to just place them right into the flame so that they can blister up. There we go, and kind of wants to dance around on you a little bit, but that's all right. So we got a red pepper. We've got our yellow pepper here. And our poblano, which he's just going to have to wait his turn. So they'll start to blister up here in just a moment. And then we're just going to rotate these, these peppers through um, each side until they're, they're well blistered on each side. And we'll place them in a bowl. And you want to cover them up with uh, plastic wrap or put them in a paper bag uh, where they'll steam and it helps you to get that skin off. And you get the nice roasted flesh uh, that you need for this soup. Okay, so we've got our, our peppers and we're going to peel them. The way I like to peel peppers, I usually just get a, get a rag, hold it in hand so you can handle the heat. And, uh, and then you just start rubbing, them, rubbing that pepper clean. Just take off that outside skin. Just see how well that just works. So a little of that, uh, a little of the char on there is still uh, okay. Um, I actually like a little of that on there. I like the char flavor that it results. So we've got that one off, and we're just going to go ahead and do that with the rest of our peppers here. Uh, then get them stemmed and seeded, and uh, start our soup. So we've got our peppers. They're, uh, they're peeled and ready to go, roasted off. And we're going to go in uh, with our, our veg to get our soup started. One for each one. Okay. Now, as I mentioned, uh, we have a little corn in this one for the yellow. Uh, yellow pepper helps the color. We're going to stir this up. Let our mirepoix soften up a little bit. Mirepoix is the, uh, the basics for any soup, stock, or sauce that we generally start with. Generally, as a rule, it's carrots, celery, onion, a little garlic and shallots, so generally about twice as much onion as you do have carrots and celery. Uh, but you can use turnips, uh, parsnips, uh, various different things for the mirror part of the beginning of your soups. But this is what we've got started here. We've added corn to ours for the yellow pepper, adds to sweetness and, uh, and to the color of it. So, as it is to get going, sweating a little bit, now I'm, I'm going to add in the, uh, the yellow pepper that's been peeled and seeded and I'm going to add in the red pepper here and we're going to let those go okay let those sweat a bit here you really can smell the roasted uh, flavor smells coming off of this. This is such great soups. Very robust, great for winter, very colorful. Okay, now, uh, now we're ready to go in with our water. I like using just water for this instead of chicken stock. Uh, you could certainly maybe use a vegetable stock if, uh, if you want to enrich uh, the soup, but I think it has plenty on its own. Chicken stock seems to get in the way of the, of the, uh, the pure flavors of, of the bell peppers, the roasted bell peppers. So uh, uh, try and just stick to water. Uh, looks like this one needs a little bit more, so we'll give it some more. All right. Top that off. Top it off, top it off. Okay, so we're going to let these come up to a simmer. 
Uh, and then we're going to just let them go over about medium heat for about 20-25 minutes. And then we're going to throw them in the blender. We're going to blend them up. We're going to strain them off. And then we're going to be ready to make this very colorful, very different, exciting soup. You're going to love the presentation on this. And we'll get into that next. Okay, well, we just got done blending our soups. We've got them into our, our pitchers here. And uh, we're ready to pour. And this is, uh, this is the funnest part about this soup. Uh, we want to get even amounts in each one of your pitchers or pouring containers. And then you want to start on either side of the bowl, furthest out, and pour evenly until they meet, even in the middle of the bowl, uh, where they'll stay separate, and then we just pour away. So let's give it a go. You're going to get them going, get them right up to the edge here, steady as she goes. And see, just pour so you have a nice, even line going down the center. Starts to push over to one side, just increase more pressure on the other. There we go. Look at that. Looks like I just have some kind of a separator there. Everybody always thinks when uh, we do the soup that we use cardboard or something to, to keep them separate. Now, that's beautiful. Now we have our other soup. And we're just going to take a spoon here. And we're going to just run around. And essentially what we're going to do is just paint. Paint the soup. You can do it kind of however you want, however much you want. And this just adds a little bite, a little heat to it. I love this soup because now when you taste the soup, you're actually going to taste three distinct soups in one bite. It is one of the most interesting soups I've ever had. Certainly one of the most stunning soup presentations. And it's really remarkably easy. You could do this with a few other different soups. Same technique in the bowl. It'll amaze uh, whoever you're serving, and it's a lot of fun to do. This is Gavin McMichael. Thanks. This is New Ranch, New Ranch Cooking, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.